All right, well, we have a fantastic program today. We're very excited that all of you are here. And because we're live streamed, we also have many people in the audience that are participating. The title of uh, what we're doing today is really to focus on children. And we're really excited about what we have planned today. There are two panels. And one will proceed, and then we'll have a break. And then another will proceed. We'll have questions after uh, each of the talks, and the moderators will be um, moderating those times. The title for today's symposium is Children's Health, the Measure of Success when Addressing Climate Solutions, a discussion of what we know, don't know, and need to know. And I'd like to thank Elizabeth Baca and uh, Gina McCarthy and Michelle Berry for moderating and for uh, Ari Bernstein for the idea of having this conference. We're really excited about having the speakers today and for those speakers that have come from all over the United States, we're very appreciative of your time and importantly appreciative of the audience that you've taken the time to come here and to be able to be part of this important dialogue that hopefully will also be sustained not just today but also beyond today. And the Global uh, Climate Action Summit is fantastic uh, venue by which we can have these discussions, but importantly is to bring them to action. And I think we all feel like we have a single mission to protect and to hand on the planet to the next generation. And that's why we're here today, is to focus on kids' health. Climate change poses a threat to our future and our children. You'll hear about how pollution and climate change are damaging kids' health, from mental health, for developing brains, malnourishment, lung, heart, infectious diseases, and importantly, issues beyond that that we don't even understand now that we need to track. And children's health can be that measurement tool by which we can see how well are we doing as a community, how well are we doing as citizens to be able to improve and mitigate global climate change. We're going to see in our kids' health immediately because kids oftentimes are that underserved population, that vulnerable population that is going to get hit by global climate change first. And we need to make sure that we have their needs, their health in our centerpiece and that we advocate for them and that we become a voice to be able to track how well we're doing as a planet, as citizens, as people to help kids. I also want to make sure that today you're not only going to hear about the problems, but moreover, and importantly, you're going to hear about practical solutions that we need to deliver on the hope and promise of calling each other to action, both as a community as well as individually. We need to make sure that we improve the health of our planet and therefore the health of our children. So thank you for your attention. I'll let Gina uh, give introductory remarks. And again, we appreciate you being here.